everyone, welcome back to another episode of Craft With Me. So today, we are going to be doing a craft thanks to the Port Hope Public Library. During the COVID lockdown, they've been putting together little craft kits that are available to like, I assume to check out, but um, it's not something that you would necessarily return. Um, they do encourage for this craft that you take a picture of the final product and you send it to them. Last month I did an eye painting which did get put on display at the Port of Public Library. Um, it was supposed to only be for a month but they still have that painting. I do believe it's going to go on another display once the library reopens after lockdown. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Uh, so this one is going to be a butterfly craft. So let's get started and craft with me. Okay, so the instructions say do not cut out the butterfly yet. Back. And this is the butterfly. Turn the sheet over so the butterfly outline is facing down. You will need to be able to see the outline to cut out the shape. Glue strips of magazine on the back side of the paper making sure the strips extend over the edges. Now the strips of magazines were also included in this handy little brown bag. Uh, you can lay the strips vertical or horizontal, let the glue dry, turn it back over and cut out the butterfly shape. So the only two things that were not provided in these craft kits are the glue and the scissors. So we are going to glue down these strips of magazines and best part is my pencil case matches this butterfly craft. We're going to go with classic Elmer's glue. You can also get this at the dollar store, but Elmer's is definitely the far superior brand. Hello, Bowser. Bowser should come to look out the window. I'm going to glue them up and down, I guess. Oof. So I don't totally chuck the glue stick. No, they thankfully provided <laughs> lots of um, shredded magazines. As I irritate my cat. All my pets, except here, have decided to join us. Oh my goodness, Hunter. You gonna help? Okay. It's a rainy day outside, so I thought this craft would be Perfect. I eventually, though, want to do some painting outside, but sadly, that was not meant to be today. 
Neither was my laundry though, apparently. I um I hang dry my laundry. Usually the bed sheets, because it's spring and they're so fresh. And um I may or may not have left that in the rain last night. And it's just gonna stay out there until it's dry. Which means it'll be um extra spring fresh by the time I bring it in. I love that the library has been doing this. This has been fantastic. And once it reopens, I am going to go in and film where they have my painting on display. I love pairing up with my local library because last year I created a paper gown for the anniversary of the paper bag princess and a bunch of local artists did that and they all went on display and this was right before the very first COVID lockdown in Canada and my dress actually got put on display for like months in the window because um nobody could go back to pick up their paper gowns i ended up actually recycling mine afterwards um but i kept my design sketch and i'm actually planning on making my design out of fabric instead of paper. Don't know where I'm going to wear it, but maybe I'll just become one of those people where I'll just like randomly go out in public and have whatever fantastic design I've come up with. This I'm planning on mailing to my parents. I've also included in the package a Father's Day card, Mother's Day card, and a birthday card for each of them. Because Canada Post has been rather questionable. And, um, unfortunately, their cards actually got sent back to me as undeliverable. So I'm just going to keep resending them until my parents do get them in the mail. I don't think they've included enough paper strips. That's fine. I'll just quickly go get some more. I have to go get my scissors anyways. Yeah, I need probably three strips on this side and one strip on that side.
a few moments later. All right, so we got the scissors and this magazine from 2012 that I've been looking at throwing out anyways. So we're just gonna rip the page out. And cut a couple of strips. water glue that on very straight, but hey. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of glue on top of all of this. Just kind of seal it up. paintings that I want to paint outside is also going to be for my parents, but I'm going to wait until they can stop by for a visit. So I can uh, give that painting to them then because I can only imagine how expensive it would be to ship such a thing. There we go. So we're just gonna let that dry and put the glue away so that it doesn't dry out. And then when we come back, we're gonna cut it out and it's gonna look like that. One eternity later. The glue's dried on this, so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna cut out the butterfly.
do I feel like this butterfly is a lot more difficult to cut out than I expected it to be. Bowser! No! Leave the birds alone. There's birds outside and he loves to paw at the bedroom window while bird watching. He can't catch them, but he will try. really pretty. Just trying to figure out how to cut out these antenna. Good enough. the butterfly and I think on the other side I might glue down some letters or something because I have some glitter letters or maybe I'll just write it you know what I'm just gonna write it to my parents so there we go thank you for crafting with me remember how I said don't quote me on this so the eye paintings were in this window originally but they're actually all the way over at the side of the library now so they've moved the display They're in this window now.